What's up guys, GT here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I dial in one of my favorite amps from the Axe FX2. We're talking about Mesa Boogie Mark II C++. Let's dive in and dial it in. All right, so I've got Axe Edit in front of me and this time we're doing things slightly different. I've already got the amp and the cab loaded and some other blocks as well. We'll talk about them in detail just to save some time. So the amp is obviously the USA 2C++, which is the Mesa Boogie Mark 2C++ in the Axe FX2. Everything is at stock. I haven't modified anything at the moment. The cab is also at stock, but we're gonna change the cab first. So when it comes to the Mesa Boogie, uh, Mark series sort of amps. I believe that the V30 cabs really work well in my opinion. There are quite a few of them available in the Axe 2 and if you look around you'll have these ones, the SM57, the 4x12 Recto SM57, the 4x12 Recto N160, uh, F073, F074. These are two of my favorite cabs in here. These are also I believe uh, Celestian V30 sort of a setup for 4x12 rectifier cabs. A uh, lot more in there. You've got the Petrucci mix as well which is also a sort of a dark cap to use with this amp so I'm going to skip that one. These two are also I believe the V30 sort of a setup but in my opinion these two work really well so I'm going to use these two but before I do that I'm going to change the cabs to a uh, you know high ultra res to a studio ultra res so that I can use two cabs. I'm going to turn off the link and I'm going to go and select this one. And I'm gonna select this one as well. These are pre-miked in my opinion. They are 57, 121 ranges of mic used to mic them. And the second one is 906 to 421. So it sort of a, you know, fits in very well in the Petrucci sort of realm. Uh, I think that's kind of miking setup he likes to use as well. So with that done, everything is stock. Let's hear how the guitar is sounding at the moment. I'm playing my Ernie Ball Music Man JP15. Everything's at 100%, the tone, the volume. I am on the bridge pickup. This is how it sounds. Mm. It doesn't sound anywhere near as a Mark Mesa Boogie 2C++ should sound. A brief history about this amp. This is not an actual 2C++ in the Axifex 2. This is, I believe, a modded 2C++, which was used by Metallica for the live sound. So not much detail available on the uh, forum pages as well. So let's go ahead and dial in a few things in the amp. This amp has a lot of gain and obviously we can use that to our advantage. I'm a huge Petrucci fanboy and I'm playing his signature guitar so I'm going to dial in some things that sounds close to him. I've used this amp quite a lot in my videos as well so make sure you check them out. What I like to do is push the input drive up to around 9, overdrive to around 9.5. This is going to give us that saturation we need. The tone controls are pre-gain, so obviously you don't want too much bass or mid in there, otherwise it's going to sound too boomy and honky. So what you can do is tame the bass down to around 1.2 or 2, around be between 1 and 2 is going to be sounding good. The mids also I'm going to tame it down, we're looking for that scooped sort of a high gain tone, so that's what we're going to do. Tame the mid down to around 2 or 3, sound, should sound good. The treble you don't want it too high and you, want, you don't want it too low, I think somewhere between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock works really well so in my opinion around 7.4 or 7.5 works well for this sort of an amp setup. The presence is slightly tricky in this case, I would recommend you keep it low between 2 and 3. In my opinion it doesn't really behave like an actual presence knob as with other amps. Uh, it makes the tone slightly honky when you pull it up all the way so I like it around low so keep it around 3 it should sound good around there. Master volume is again tricky as with other amps as well. The lower you keep it, the thinner your tone is going to be, the higher you keep it, the more muddy and the more mid bass sort of a tone it's going to become. So I like it you know around a sweet spot between 5 and 7 or 6 and 7 is a good place to start off with so I like it around 6. The level I'm not going to touch at all. So with that done this is how it sounds. <laughs> Again, not sounding very sort of scooped sort of a sound that we want. It's sounding heavy, but it doesn't it doesn't have that character in my opinion. And that's where the GEQ sort of makes sense. But before we go to the GEQ, I want to tweak the cabs a little bit. What I want to do is cut off some of that top end. I believe there's too much fizz that happens to come out of this amp if you tweak the GEQ and add in treble over there. So what I like to do is cut down the high cut here to around 4800s. Uh, hertz and the low cut I like to always push it up to around 80 or 100 I think around 90 works well in this case let's keep it around 90 uh, 
not going to mic anything and now let's go ahead and tweak the GEQ of the amp. So the GEQ, if you've seen Petrucci's videos or if you ever dialed in sort of tone, you'll obviously remember the famous V curve that the Mesa Mugi Mark amps are famous for. So what we'll do here is tweak these knobs to dial in some more bass and treble, but obviously we're going to scoop out the mids, the 750 fader quite a lot. So these Faders are tricky, so dial them carefully according to your gear. So 40, uh, 80 hertz, I'm gonna push up to around four. That's gonna add in some of the bass that we you know, pulled out in the actual tone controls. The 240, I like it around 1.92. Again, adding some low mids. The 750, I'm gonna really pull out quite a lot. So minus 7.68 is what sounds good in my gear. If you pull it down further, it's gonna become more thinner. If you pull it up a little bit, it's gonna add more mids and become a little more thicker. I like it around there. It's a good sweet spot. The 2200, again, 1.44 works good for me. 6600, now this is one, this one is tricky. If you add it too much, it's gonna to become too ice picky, obviously. But since I have kind of tamed the top end in the cab, what I can do here is add in a little bit more of the 6600 and that works well for my gear. If you have the high cut of your cab turned up more, I would recommend slightly less value for this particular fader. So for this one, I kept it around five and with that done, this is how it sounds. <laughs> That is sweet and nice and that sounds like a real sort of a chunky and uh, scooped sort of a mid sound as well at the same time. So it sounds really cool to my ears. Other things you can do, I think the Mesa Boogie amps are known for its clarity when it comes to playing sort of a uh, open chord sort of a structure. The sunlight just went away. <laughs> it's become slightly dark in the room, but that's okay. You can still see me, right? <laughs> So what you can do to widen the sound a little bit more, what I like to do is add in some chorus. Petrucci also uses chorus in some of his tracks. Like if you've heard Metropolis, the intro of the track, there's a lot of chorus happening in there. What that will enable to do is widen your tone, obviously, and obviously give you clarity in between the notes. So I've already got the chorus block configured over here. So what I've used is a Dimension 1 chorus block. This is a chorus which was added specifically for Petrucci on his request. I got that from the forum post from our very own Matt. Uh, the rate, I like to keep it low as much as I can. I don't think I touched anything in here. Everything is default. Mix, I don't like it too high. You know, 9% is good. I also like to go into the tone section and change the dimension mode to high. With the chorus added, this is how it sounds. <laughs> As you can hear that there's a lot of clarity in the notes when I'm playing even bar chords with full, you know, all the strings being plugged together. So, so that's pretty much the basic tone I wanted to share with you guys. But there are a few other tweaks that I like to do sometimes to, you know, turn this into a lead sort of a tone or also add more character to the tone as well. What I like to do is go into the amp and go into the power supply section and turn up the supply sack. This is going to give you a lot more squishy sort of feel when it comes to the playing. The difference is subtle, but you can definitely hear it. So let's turn up the supply sack to around eight. <laughs> That sounds really cool. So play with the supply side, it definitely adds in more character to your uh, tone as well. I'm gonna bring it back to where it was. Around there should be fine. What I also like to do is, if you want more gain and want to tighten up your low end, is add in a drive block in the beginning of your signal chain. And also, if you want to turn this into a lead sort of preset, what you can do obviously do is add some delay and reverb. So I've got delay and reverb already configured here. Uh, the delay, I like to do it Petrucci style. The ping pong works really well. So I've set it to ping pong. Dot it eighth of a tempo, tempo is around 100 BPM, doesn't matter. Uh, feedback around 17% and the mix around 17%. Also some reverb, London plate works really well in my opinion. 15% mix, everything's at default, quality is turned to high. So this is how it sounds. <laughs> So 
that sounds really cool but if you want to add more drive for example and tighten up the tone and make it a little more fat what you can do is obviously go into the amp section and first thing you can do is push up the 750 fader a little bit more that's going to add a little bit more mids and make your tone a little more fatter and smoother and also what you can do is add in a drive block what i've done here is added a t808 od drive pedal which is i believe a tube screamer uh, the drive is at zero it's just adding a bit of boost there the tone is slightly less than five in this opinion so hear this out how it sounds <laughs> Let's play something on the neck pickup, for example. That sounds really sweet, smooth and nice, just the way we all like it, isn't it? So that's pretty much what I wanted to share in this video with you guys. That's the tone. I hope you guys like it and hope it sounds great on your gear as well. Of course, without saying, please do give this video a thumbs up. And in case you're wondering how you can support the channel, please check the links in the description box below as to how you can support me in creating more of these free presets and videos for you guys as well. And goes without saying, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until I see you guys in the next video, make sure you stay safe. Keep rocking, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.